Hey guys, Olazandri here bringing you some ground war domination today on Crisis. Now, these are some really odd words I know. I don't play ground war. My connection, as I've complained about a million times, is terrible. At the start of this game I was too barring it around, so I've skipped a little bit. Uh, you've missed one kill of the gameplay, oh noes. But uh, it doesn't really explain much the strategy, and I will explain my strategy for Crisis. It's very, very team play oriented. Well, the way I play this map is just, you might say a bit campy, but I would describe it in, in two words as control tower. I am a control tower on this map. Now, a bit about domination on Crisis, in case you're newer to the game, like Christmas. Um, B and C domination are the ones you want to have as your team. You want to have the enemy spawning outside on the beach. So therefore, the position I've taken on top sandbags is very good for callouts, very good for visual information. I can tell which way an enemy's going. If I don't kill them myself, then I can tell someone else where they are. Now, one of the reasons I'm doing this commentary on this map is I want to talk a little bit about motion sensors. I've been meaning to for a while. I mean, they are by far the best equipment type. Headshot! They are by far the best equipment type in the game. No one can actually tell me different because uh, I've heard someone else say Claymore, but uh, Claymore, no. One kill only, a bit of security until it goes down, and as soon as it takes that kill or is destroyed, well, it, and if any equipment is destroyed, it's useless, but until it takes that one guy down, that's it. That's the maximum amount of kills it can get, unless like people are really moronic and they all jump on it together, but... We'll leave those instances aside. It's basically a one kill equipment type and then it's gone. That's not very useful. A motion sensor can last the whole game depending on where you place it. And I'm not saying you have to nurse it, I'm not saying you have to camp near it because that's probably not the best idea ever because hackers will find you, they will hunt you down. It's one of my favourite ways to hunt for kills for example when someone claymores themselves or motion sensors to themselves in a room I will deliberately go and kick them out because I know where they are. Pe being too near to your motion sensor is a bad thing. But motion sensors are unlimited kills in a bag. There's no other way I can put it. You can get as many kills as possible and it's not just your kills. The motion sensor which the enemy just destroyed here, as you can see, its placement's not very good. If we've got B and C, for example, why do I need a motion sensor at my back? I don't. If I'm using it for my own purposes, the motion sensor would be on the right-hand side, on the ramp, up to me. So that might give you a clue as what I'm doing with the whole control tower thing. The motion sensor isn't for me at all. It's not there because I'm using it. I'm not camping on it because I'm not using it for me. Sounds pretty odd. The entire purpose it's there is that it's on a bit of the map which has two floors. Now I'm pretty much every map that has a place with multiple floors I'm sticking a motion sensor because you can get so much information there usually the places that are really highly traveled. Plus on Crisis the place with the two floors ends up slapped bang in the middle of the map. If I don't get to kill an enemy from A moving around to B, if I don't kill them with my own line of sight or shoot gun them down, you know, stop them going into mid map, I can call them out because I will be able to see with that motion sensor placement if they're moving to B or moving straight through. This is what I'm saying that I'm playing as a controlled tower. The motion sensor is not there for me to camp on, it's not for me to get kills, it's for everyone else to get callouts to run the game properly, to win. All I care about is the win. Now, talking about motion sensors in other maps, there's many other maps where you have these multiple tiers. Now, a very good example of that is, just like Crisis, B flag on launch. You saw my last... Uh, streaks video on it I hope you better have <laughs> but you saw me place it pretty late in that one but that allows me to completely cover the B map and then one person's sacrifice of the game of not just running around and killing willy nilly as it were ends up with an easy win and this is what my kind of like commentaries in my gameplay is about winning I love winning 
everyone loves winning, everyone has fun while winning. So, bit of motion sensor tips. Of course, don't camp so near them. Hackers will find you, hackers will hunt you down. You will end up as an easy kill, especially if they've got Hacker Pro. That's one of the reasons why Hacker Pro has been such a good perk. And that is such a good head glitching spot. You cannot see someone at that spot. It's pretty damn hard. I thought he was underground, even though I actually, on the replay, noticed I actually had a chance to see him beforehand, and I just didn't. It's just a split second, and I missed him completely. So, how do I use motion sensors? Apart from getting multiple tier maps information, as it were, and giving callouts, I use them to sniff out spawns. I use them for effective defensive areas. Where I know, for example, I'll take Fire Ranger as an example, there's that trailer between B and C. You might know what I mean. And you can effectively place the motion sensor to sense A spawns. Stuff like that. Now, spawn switches in this game are one of the most deadliest things that could ever occur to you as a player. Motion sensors can be used to sense out spawn switches. They don't have to be anywhere near you to be effective. So remember this. Plant them in well-travelled areas. Don't sit so near them. They're useful for gathering all this map information and they will net you kills that way rather than you just sitting in a building all day long. Anyway, run out of time. This has been Olazandri. Great talking to you guys. See you around. Rate, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. Cheers.